Good afternoon everyone, welcome back to another video. So it's Tuesday afternoon and I just got back from work a while ago, post afternoon snack now, and I just wanted to check um, a certain part of the garden that I have my green manure sowed in. So I'm in my food forest um, zone two area where I have a lot more perennial plants and fruit bushes and that kind of thing. But the way I want this to progress, this area is to not have to come and tend to it every day. And so this area can kind of look after itself. But before it can do that, I need to give it a bit of a helping hand. So the two things that I'm doing right now is doing a deep mulch of the area. And the second is green manure on some of the bare soil. So I'll give you a bit of a pan of the area. So I've got three main rows on this side and then kind of one bed here and then another down below here. So I'm in the process of changing over some of the okra for some other fruit trees. The capsicums are still doing really well. We're getting a lot of um, sweet capsicums off that. But this area is generally where I've been focusing on doing a lot more of the work. So one of the things I did yesterday was give it a first mulch. So this mulch that I used was sugarcane mulch. It's what I have really readily available in my area. There's a lot of sugarcane in Queensland. This is really nice, fine mulch that should decompose pretty quickly. And I've noticed a big difference even just having it down for one day. Underneath the mulch, I've also got some weeping hose. So this weeps out of the sides and then the mulch on top kind of retains the water. So cucumbers are loving it. So mulching an area like this can actually retain up to 70% more water than an area that isn't mulched. So I definitely need to do that in the climate I'm in. We get pretty dry winters and it stays really dry up until the end of summer. So now we're starting to get our rain, but I want this to be secure if we do stay for another year here um, so they don't have to do too much next year. So other than just retaining moisture, um, mulch helps build up your organic matter in your beds. It also provides food for all the different organisms and microbes in the soil. So your worms in the soil are gonna benefit from this. It might not look like a lot to you, um, but there's actually a lot of minerals and nutrients in this carbon rich material um, that a lot of microbes will benefit from. So, and it's also gonna save you money in the long run. If you're protecting your soil, you're going to have to fertilize less. You're also going to use less water. So I am a big believer in doing a heavy mulch, as a lot of people are. The only downside is that mulch can be quite expensive. Um, so buying this much of mulch here that I've mulched my two rows here was about $14 for a bag of mulch like this. I know I can get it a lot cheaper, but I don't really have a trailer to go collect mulch. That is the next priority on my to buy list. But if mulch is too hard to get in, another really great option is green manure. So green manure is essentially growing your own mulch, but it's not also growing mulch, it's also remediating your soils. So you saw that I mulched those two rows. The third row uh, has really bad soil and there are mini boulders within the soil. It's just too hard to dig, not a lot grows on this side. Um, so what I'm doing here, instead of just mulching it and um, building it up with more carbon rich material, it needs more nitrogen rich material to build up that organic matter in this side. So there are so many different types of green manure you can get. I really like the seed collection um, for Seeds from Australia. They've got a really good variety and their green manure is a decent price. So I'll show you this summer mix that I've put in this bed here. So this is the green manure mix that you get from the seed collection. Um, it doesn't actually tell you exactly what's in it. It generally just has a variety of three different seeds. These are the seeds in this summer mix. So I've got some sunflower. I believe the green ones are mung beans and I think millet as well. So you've got more a grassy type, a bean nitrogen fixing and sunflower also more kind of nitrogen fixing and puts different types of minerals back into the soil as well as all providing organic matter. If you're in a colder climate, you might want to think about starting to plan your autumn and winter mix. It doesn't really get cold here until like May. So I've got a lot of time. And again, in this one, it's got a type of bean. Um, I think it's got some buckwheat and some kind of grain in it as well. So those three varieties are really good to have some kind of nitrogen fixing species, a taller species and some grass to have those multi layers of green manure. 
I should also mention I'm also planting fenugreek in my winter and autumn mix and the seeds look like that and fenugreek is a really good nitrogen fixer for this area. So this is the area that I've planted my green manure in and I've planted this about a week and a bit ago and I can already start to see lots of beans coming up. So I've got some beans coming up here. I think this is the millet coming up and let's find some sunflowers. And I think this is one of the sunflowers coming up. So I'm really hoping in a few weeks I get some nice green coverage. I'm hoping this all just fills up with green. Um, and then there's a few different options you can do. You can chop it all and dig it back into the soil, roots included, or you can just chop it um, at the roots and let it decompose on top of the soil. Um, one of the things you want to do with green manure is make sure you do this before it flowers and seeds. So just before it starts flowering, you want to do the chop and drop. Um, otherwise, you'll pretty much continuously get those species there um, if you let them go to seed. So that was just a short little video talking about mulch. Such a great thing to do for your garden. It also helps to insulate your garden if it's hot or cold. Also suppresses the weeds, which I didn't mention. Um, it's an obvious thing that I want to try and get on top of here in this garden. But let me know what kind of mulch you use and how it's working for you. I really wanted to get some forest mulch or some wood chips, but I'm just waiting to see if I can get a free delivery of that. So the afternoon sun is well and truly out. I am going to go do a few more things in the garden and do a quick check up on all of the plants. Thank you so much for subscribing and thanks Josh for the shout out. I can manage 100 subscribers so yay. I try and get back to as many comments as I can. I'm really horrible at doing comments but, but I will get better. So thank you so much for everyone who has subscribed. I will be sure to post lots more videos in the future. Please continue to like the videos and subscribe for more like this. And until my next video, happy gardening. Bye.